The Forex market never sleeps and neither do I. So let's go and see what today's charts have to show us. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 260K reputation points. And every day I share a lot of free education and analysis for all of you. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the charts. In today's video, I will be speaking about GBP USD. As usual, I will be providing a complete multi time frame top down analysis. First, I will be covering the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective. So, the commitment of traders, which is the COT data. So, what the non commercials and the biggest speculators in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on the pair. We are also currently running the Black Friday month. The link is in the description. You have a massive discount to join the mentorship program. And you also have the possibility to get a refund directly in your trading account since we have partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets. So it's never been this easy to join. The link is in the description. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what do we have? Now, here in the monthly, we have a market which is currently stuck in between a very strong area of previous monthly resistance here, which the market broke to the upside. And at the moment, we're testing here. So we have previous monthly resistance turn support here. And at the same time, we also have previous monthly support now turned resistance here. So we are basically stuck in between two levels of monthly resistance and support. And until from a monthly perspective, we, re we will remain a trapped in between these two levels. We can expect more sideways price action. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now here on the weekly, we can see how the market has been printing a series of lower lows and lower highs. The last move that we had was the creation of this impulse to the downside, which also, also created a new lower low. And in general, after the creation of an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci on the impulse leg. So in this case, from this high to this low. And if we take our Fibonacci from this high to this low, we can see how we have a perfect 0.382 Fibonacci retracement, which is lining up exactly at this area that we do expect the market to potentially go and test and then reject to the downside, which means that what we can expect here, at least from a weekly perspective, is short term bullish price action for a correction to the 0.382 and then a longer term rejection to the downside. Just a quick thing, make sure that you like the video, subscribe and let me know in the comments any suggestions for new videos. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Now here on the daily time frame, we can see how the market in creating the rejection to the upside of the strong support that we have already identified here when it comes to the monthly time frame. We can see that in creating this rejection, the market has also started creating this W formation. Now, in general, after the creation of a W, what you want to see is the market create a move to the downside to go and complete the pattern at the previous resistance turned support. So in this case, what we can expect is once again, short term bullish price action to really create the W formation and then a correction to the downside to complete the pattern at its previous resistance turn support, which is in fact exactly what we already expected when it comes to the weekly time frame. In fact, we have already seen here how on the weekly we can expect this market to provide a correction to the 0.382, which we will now make visible also on the daily time frame before then getting a rejection. So what we could easily expect here on the daily time frame is for the market to go and test this 0.32 from the weekly and then start the completion of this daily W formation. Now, if we go and see what we have from uh, a COT perspective, so 
commitment of traders, which is basically what hedge funds and the non-commercials in the market are doing. On the pound, what we can see is that with the last reports, net positions have been increasing. In fact, we went from having a negative net positioning to having a positive net positioning with currently 57k longs and 42k shorts. However, we can see how shorts are finally starting to get increased once again. In fact, it was already three reports in a row that we had tens of thousands of shorts getting closed. However, we can see how now for the first time after quite few reports, we are now seeing 5.2K shorts getting added. So we're starting to see again shorts come into the market on GBPUSD, meaning that we can expect this W formation to be completed and this short term correction to the downside for the completion of this daily W formation. So how we will be approaching this potential short term shorting opportunity here with students. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily combined with the COT data. Those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames. So for our and lower. Therefore, with students, what we will be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the upside. And if the market will shift from an intraday bullish to an intraday bearish market at that point, we will be adding GBPUSD to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be looking for a potential short with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to complete this W formation at the neckline, which is this previous resistance turned support here from a daily perspective. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education analysis for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then you get a new daily market breakdown every day showing you how to apply the strategies in actual real market. And you also get your questions answered every single day in the daily Q&A session. So it's a very complete program. I suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.